Are you someone who's interested in pursuing a career in supply chain and logistics, but you're feeling a little overwhelmed by all the different jobs available out there and all the different career paths you can take? Well, look no further, because in this video, we're going to help you explore the different career paths within supply chain and logistics, and I'm going to try to help you figure out which one's the right fit for you. Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Professor Rodriguez, your college instructor, supply chain executive, and the co-founder of the NBC Logistics Academy. Today, I really want to talk to you about supply chain and logistics career paths. In recent years, and you know, as we see with the pandemic and post-pandemic, the importance of supply chain and logistics has become increasingly evident, and the demand for professionals in this field has really skyrocketed. I have this conversation with my students all the time because having a game plan for what their career is going to look like is a top priority for us all. But with so many different career paths available, so many different options, it can be difficult to know which one to pursue. In this video here, I'm going to help you explore some of the most common career paths within supply chain and logistics, and I'm going to give you some of the most common job titles with a brief description and some of the average salaries, which will be based on data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. My goal with this video is really to help you make an informed decision about your future. All right. So what do you say? Let's get right to it. Okay, so the first path or the first career path we're going to explore is in procurement. Procurement really involves the sourcing of raw materials and negotiating contracts with suppliers, among many other things, but that's usually the focus. If you have strong negotiation skills and also a talent for talking to people and building relationships, well, procurement might be the career for you. Within procurement, we have procurement manager. A procurement manager is responsible for overseeing the procurement process and ensuring that the organization acquires goods and services that are, are specific, require quality, and also at competitive prices. The average salary for a procurement manager in the United States is around $94,000 per year. Next job is a purchasing agent. A purchasing agent is responsible for buying goods for an organization or securing services on behalf of an organization. In this job, we negotiate with suppliers to obtain the best possible prices and quality. The average salary for a purchasing agent is around $52,000 per year. Next, we have sourcing specialist. A sourcing specialist is responsible for identifying potential suppliers and negotiating the contracts with them initially. They also ensure that the suppliers meet the organization's quality and delivery requirements before we place any orders with them. The average salary for a sourcing specialist in the U.S. is around $69,000 per year. Up next, we have Category Manager. A category manager is responsible for managing a specific category of goods and services, such as IT equipment or marketing services. They are responsible for developing sourcing strategies and also can be responsible for negotiating contracts with suppliers. The average salary for a category manager in the U.S. is around $93,000 per year. Next up is a procurement analyst. A procurement analyst is responsible for analyzing procurement data, also identifying cost-saving opportunities and looking for ways to improve the whole procurement process. They also provide insights to management to make informed decisions about procurement and the processes within procurement. The average salary for a procurement analyst in the U.S. is around $65,000 per year. Next, we have a demand planner. A demand planner is responsible for forecasting customer demand for products and services. They analyze market trends, historical data, and customer behavior to create accurate demand forecasts. Average salary for a demand planner in the U.S. can range from $60,000 to $90,000 per year, depending on their responsibilities. The next category we have is transportation and distribution. If you enjoy planning and logistics, a career in transportation and distribution might be a good fit for you. This particular career path involves overseeing the movement and the storage of goods 
from one location to another, also to make sure that they arrive on time and in good condition. Up next, we have a warehouse worker. Warehouse workers are responsible for receiving, storing, and shipping products in a warehouse or distribution center. The average annual salary for a warehouse worker is around $29,350 per year. It is on the lower scale, but it is a good entry-level point where you can develop some of the skills you need for bigger positions. Up next, we have a logistics coordinator. Logistics coordinator, which is something that I started off doing, are responsible for coordinating the movement of goods and products from one location to another. They work with freight companies, suppliers, transportation providers to ensure timely delivery of the goods or materials or parts. The average annual salary for a logistics coordinator is around $48,000 per year. This is also a good entry-level position to get your foot in the door. Up next, we have a freight broker. Freight brokers are intermediaries between shippers and carriers. They arrange for transportation of goods for the shippers and negotiate the rates with the carriers on the other end. The average annual salary for a freight broker is around $76,000 per year. Next, we have a logistics manager, which is another position I've done in the past that I escalated to or that I moved into from being a logistics coordinator. A logistics manager is responsible for the planning, coordination, and the execution of the transportation and distribution of goods. They ensure that the products are delivered on time, in good condition, and within a particular budget. The average salary for a logistics manager is around $76,000 per year. Another position here, another career path is transportation manager. A transportation manager is responsible for overseeing the transportation of goods and even people sometimes, ensuring that the routes are efficient and cost effective. They may also be responsible for managing a fleet of vehicles. The average salary for a transportation manager is around $72,000 per year. Up next, we have a warehouse manager. A warehouse manager, which I know a lot of people have done this job or have this position, a warehouse manager is responsible for overseeing the storage, distribution, and shipping of the goods within a warehouse or also a distribution center sometimes. They may also manage a team of workers and ensure the safety protocols are followed. This is very important. The average salary for a warehouse manager is around $55,000 per year. Next, we have a dispatcher. A dispatcher is responsible for assigning drivers to specific routes and ensuring that the deliveries are made on time. They may also be responsible for tracking vehicles and communicating with the drivers. The average salary for a dispatcher is around $42,000 per year. Up next, we have a shipping and receiving clerk. A shipping and receiving clerk is responsible for processing incoming and outgoing shipments, including verifying the contents and preparing shipping documents. The average salary for a shipping and receiving clerk is around $31,000 per year. The next category we're going to talk about is warehousing and inventory management. You're going to see some similarities to transportation, but this one here is particularly focused on inventory and warehousing together. For those who enjoy working with data and have a strong analytical skills, a career in warehousing and inventory management might be a good choice. This career path involves managing inventory levels, optimizing warehouse operations, and ensuring that products are stored correctly. First, we have a warehouse manager. A warehouse manager oversees the daily operations of a warehouse, including managing the inventory, supervising employees, and ensuring the safety and security protocols are followed. The average salary for a warehouse manager is around $67,000 per year. Next, we have inventory control specialist. An inventory control specialist is responsible for monitoring inventory levels and ensuring that the right amount of product is available at all times. They may also be responsible for tracking shipments and coordinating with other departments to ensure a timely delivery. The average salary for an inventory control specialist is around $46,000 per year. Now within a warehouse and inventory category, you're also going to see a logistics coordinator within this category. A logistics coordinator is responsible for coordinating shipments and transportation, as well as managing the inventory and maintaining records. It's more specific to that. They may also be responsible for managing relationships with the suppliers and with customers. 
the average salary for a logistics coordinator is around $45,000 per year. Up next, we have a warehouse supervisor. A warehouse supervisor oversees the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse or a distribution center. That includes managing employees, monitoring inventory levels, and ensuring that safety protocols are followed. The average salary for a warehouse supervisor is around $51,000 per year. Next, we have an inventory manager. An inventory manager is responsible for overseeing inventory levels, tracking the shipments, and managing the relationships with suppliers as well as customers. They may also be responsible for developing inventory policies and some of the procedures. The average salary for an inventory manager is around $69,000 per year. Now we're going to look into materials manager. A materials manager is responsible for managing inventory and ensuring that the right materials are available for production, which is the next step. They may also be responsible for managing relationships with the suppliers, as well as sometimes negotiating contracts with them. The average salary for a materials manager is around $87,000 per year. Next, we're going to look into shipping and receiving manager. A shipping and receiving manager is responsible for coordinating shipments, receiving incoming shipments, and managing relationships with carriers and customers. They may also be responsible for managing inventory levels and supervising employees. The average salary for a shipping and receiving manager is around $54,000 per year. Finally, we have the category of supply chain management. Now, you're going to think this is a little redundant. We are talking about supply chain management, but specifically, we do have categories within job uh, searches and within companies itself that focus on supply chain management as a larger scale that looks into the different departments altogether. So that's what we're talking about here. All right. Now, this career path involves overseeing the entire supply chain, everything from procurement all the way down to distribution and even customer service. If you have strong leadership skills and are able to manage complex operations, then supply chain management as a whole may be the right career for you. First, we have supply chain manager. A supply chain manager is responsible for managing the entire supply chain. Everything, like I mentioned, from overseeing the procurement department, warehousing inventory, all the way down to distribution and even customer service team. They may also be responsible for developing and implementing supply chain strategies, managing relationships with suppliers and customers, and basically overseeing logistics and inventory management. The average salary for a supply chain manager is around $103,000 per year. A supply chain analyst. A supply chain analyst analyzes data to identify areas for improvement in the supply chain process. They may develop reports or make recommendations to management. The supply chain analyst is also responsible for analyzing data and providing insights to optimize supply chain operations. They use data analysis tools to identify trends, forecast demand, and even improve efficiency. The average salary for a supply chain analyst in the U.S. is from around $50,000 up to $80,000 per year, depending on experience. Next, we have operations manager. An operations manager is responsible for managing the day-to-day -day operations of the supply chain. That includes production, logistics, and customer service. They develop and implement operational policies, as well as manage personnel, and they monitor performance metrics. The average salary for an operations manager in the US is around $70,000 to $120,000 per year. So there you have it. These are some of the most common career paths within supply chain and logistics. I always say to my students, you have to consider what are your strengths, what are your interests, and then you can begin to find the right career that's best suited for you. There's a lot more to consider and other things to take into consideration, but this is just a beginning. This is just part of what your process will be like. If you are interested in digging a little deeper and finding out more information, I am offering a great free supply chain and career development masterclass. 
in this class, you can get an opportunity to learn more about supply chain and try to figure out what is the best path for starting out in supply chain and logistics or even growing an existing career. Like I said, we're offering this free great masterclass. We're opening a new session up for the end of April. If you're interested, I'm going to put the links in the description down below, and I'll try to add some of the links in the cards as well. Don't miss out on that. It's a great free resource. you get to attend a free live Zoom call with me where we're going to get to chat about what is a career in supply chain, what it looks like for you, what it has for me and some of the students I have coached in the past. So if you're interested in that, feel free to register for the free supply chain career development masterclass coming up in this April or the end of April. All right. I hope that this video has been even a little helpful in your journey towards a successful career in supply chain and logistics. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.